Well, hello everybody and welcome again to another Word at One. And um, as you know, we've been just uh, reading out one or two Psalms um, as a church family and uh, very much been enjoying everyone's contributions to that. And today um, I've got Pat who is going to uh, bring Psalm 150 for us. And uh, Psalm 150 is actually the last Psalm in the book. And um, so, you know, I think it's quite interesting. What do we finish off with? And as you'll hear in a minute when Pat reads us out this psalm, um, it's just exhorting us to praise the Lord over and over and over. Um, just it's, It goes through all the different instruments you can possibly have just to use these instruments to praise the Lord. And the trumpet is mentioned and I know one or two folk have been saying how much they've really been missing um, hearing Dave playing his trumpet in the church. And, you know, we do hope that we'll be able to just get back to uh, normal again in time to come where we can all be there together and we can all worship together and we can hear the trumpet and we can hear the guitars and um, hear the, the vocals as well and uh, hear the drums and you know um, just everything um, but meantime we can actually still do this at home ourselves if you can't play the trumpet it doesn't matter other things that are mentioned here the harp and the lyre if you can't play that it doesn't matter if you've got strings or a pipe um, I don't think it's a pipe, I think it's like a pipe. Um, uh, it's If you haven't got that, it doesn't matter. It's saying about symbols, but if you haven't got symbols, it doesn't matter. Guess why? Because the last bit says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And whether you've got any of these instruments or not, you have got breath. And so um, we can praise the Lord. And, you know, somebody has used this verse uh, in the past um, to me, uh, not to me personally, but talking about it generally, uh, that, you know, even if you can't sing in tune, it really doesn't matter because you've got breath. So you should be using that breath to praise the Lord. So there we are. That's quite an exhortation, isn't it? And it's um, a good place to, to end the book of Psalms. We haven't finished our readings. Um, it's, we're not doing them in order. And uh, But that's where the book of Psalms finishes in the Bible with number 150. So thank you very much, Pat, for bringing that to us today. And uh, let's just pray before I hand over to Pat. Lord, we have got so many reasons to give praise to you. Lord, we can't even number them. We would run out. Lord, you are so faithful to us. Lord, you are loving to all you have made, and that's us. And we thank you for that, Lord. And uh, Father, I just pray that you would help us to be um, just free and to be released to bring our praise and our worship to you today. Lord, thank you that the very breath that we have in our lungs is down to you. Lord, you provide everything that we need for life. And Father, thank you that you will continue to do that. Lord, thank you that uh, we can look to the future and trust you, Lord. So many of these Psalms are talking about the fact that we can rely on you. Lord, even when um, others let us down, when you know there's nothing around us that we can rely on, Lord, we can rely on you. And just we thank you, Lord, for that reminder. And thank you, Lord, that even you've left your Holy Spirit here on earth uh, to, to be our guide and our comforter and our teacher. And we thank you for that, Lord Jesus, in your precious and special name. Amen. Well, God bless you all today. And um, here's Pat. Bye for now. So I've chosen Psalm 150 because it just is good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Amen. And that kind of sums us Pentecostals up, doesn't it?